Hey guys, my name is Sid. Welcome to another vlog. So today is the first day of Jitex and usually I go and do like a full tour of the Jitex and do a video about the best things that's going on. But Zion Cranes, I don't know if you guys know, but they're like one of the largest makers of gimbals in the world. Oh, sorry, Zoe. So this thing is a gimbal, okay? And uh, what it does is that you can put your camera on here. It's gonna make your footage really smooth. So every time I'm doing like a car video or I'm doing something that I know is like a planned shoot, I'll always try and use the gimbal because it gives you a lot more of a professional look. And the cool thing about Zion Cranes is they were one of the first few people to make a gimbal like this. Something that's handheld, light, easy to carry around and works really well. This year they reached out to me and told me they wanted to show me their new cranes that they're making, the new gimbals. So today's video is going to be about the new Zion crane. We're going to head over to Jitex and check them out. I'll see you guys there. So Zion is a Chinese company that actually made the gimbal really cheap. I remember before that it used to cost thousands of dollars and gimbals used to come in like backpacks with shoulder straps and stuff like that. So when Zion created the three axis gimbal which was handheld, it was pretty revolutionary in the field. Now other companies have started doing the same thing. You see, you know, handheld devices for uh, smartphones and things like that, but Zion was one of the first to do it. What previously used to like take a dolly or a crane to do, now you could do it with something handheld. So the Zion Crane 3 is going to be available today to test at Jitex. The Jitex Technology Week that happens is very different from the Jitex Shopper which I did in the previous vlog. The Jitex Shopper is more like a consumer event where you go buy stuff, it's like a sale. Whereas the Jitex Technology Week, you can't buy anything, but it show, they show off the latest and greatest in technology. So I find the Jitex Technology Week a lot more interesting. You can check out my vlog over here, which I did last year. Of course, I'll be doing another vlog this year as well, but it's probably going to be coming tomorrow or day after. Today, I kind of want to spend time just checking out the Zion Crane. So anyway, guys, I'll see you there. This one over here is called the Weeble Lab. It's the smaller device. It takes mirrorless cameras, even though it's got a bigger camera on here right now. This one does uh, three pounds, three, three kgs. Kilo. Three, three sorry, three kilos. And the other one does 3.2 kilos, the Crane 2. So this is pretty comparable to that. And they're telling me it's gonna be priced at about the same price or maybe slightly cheaper. Cheaper? All right, great. So one of the signature things about this new Crane is that it's got image transmission inside it. So uh, you just connect it to the crane itself and it'll display on your smartphone, which is really awesome. So check this out. All right, guys, so Coco over here is going to explain to us how this works. Yeah, okay. So actually this app was uh, uh, connected with the gimbal itself via the Bluetooth, okay. as you can tell from the icon. And uh, for the wireless image transmission system here, it was connected via the Wi-Fi with the app, with the phone. Okay. So basically the image was transmitted via the Wi-Fi. Yeah. Okay. And also here you can, you can see this is the brand new screen for the for this app you can control it here and this is the you can tell from here this is the different mode of the gimbal itself okay yes you can switch to the uh, pan falling mode a uh, lock mode and also full mode full mode full falling mode Ooh. yes for example in the locking mode you can use the joystick to adjust up and down oh, that is so cool. yeah and also left and right so the phone's not plugged into the gimbal in any way right we can actually this is a phone a smartphone clamp okay yeah we can unscrew it here oh, that's cool and uh, you can use this joystick to control oh that is awesome yeah so this is a brand new feature in both the Weebill lab and the crane tree lab by the way that's the name of these new um, gimbals by how do you pronounce it by the way? Is it Zion or? Juin. Juin? Yes. Oh, uh, sorry guys, I've been pronouncing it wrong all this time. It's Juin. Juin, yes. Right, okay. <laughs> this, is the, this is the first in the industry that we actually featured the image transmission feature into okay. the gimbal. We can hold the uh, gimbal in this way mm -hmm. and you can unscrew this uh, tripod. Okay. Yes, and also mount it here on this arm. So we mount it here. And okay. so here we have the recital structure. You can have the low angle shooting. Oh, cool. Still, you can have the image monitor here and the, from the low angle to high angle shooting. Yeah. 
That's right. Yeah, this will be very easy to carry and very, you know, the effectless. This is one of the signature differences between the lab products from Zion. From, how do you pronounce it again? What? Xi, 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 so this is one of the signature differences between the lamp products. So you see they've got this new handle over here. So it allows you to like do this and hold the crane that way. So it gets a little tiring to hold it like this all the time. So this is a lot more comfortable and it's quite light. Like I find it, it's almost as light as the, uh, the crane V2 that I have, but it's much easier to carry it in this way. The follow focus uh, hand wheel here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as uh, oh, yeah, okay. as the crane too, and uh, we can still have the follow focus, real time follow focus here right now. So is that an add-on? We will have like two package, and okay. the one maybe is like a full package with everything included. The other one is maybe just the machine and also several important accessories. Guys, if you've ever used gimbals, usually you know how much of a pain they are to balance. So on the new crane, they've got this new feature, these locks, as you can see in red over here. So it helps you balance the crane faster. For every arm, and uh, every arm we have a lock design here. First part is like, uh, it will enable you, even for the starters, to have a quick, uh, I mean, quick um, process for the balancement. Okay. You see, we can, for example, I can balance it, uh, I can lock here, and also lock here. Okay, so I can just move this part. Oh, okay. I can just move this part uh, and uh, also adjust it. And after I balance it well, I lock here and I just unlock here and I just uh, adjust left and right. Okay, very cool. Yes. This is just to lock these different parts while yes. you're balancing. Wait, you want to pack it? Mm -hmm. You just lock here, for example, like this, oh. and also here, and also here. So basically everything right now is finished. Oh, okay. The so it won't move around while yeah, you're while it is, back? Yeah, it is. It is very... Sturdy. Yeah, sturdy and also very convenient for you carry in your bag. By the way, that is a huge advantage. Half the times I don't carry the gimbal around because it moves around my bag and it's hard to package. This is yes. amazing. Alright guys, so down here you see we've got all the controls that you usually get on the gimbal. We've got a little joystick over here, an LCD screen. We've got a record button so we can initiate recording from here and uh, this allows you to control different things with your camera like your aperture, your ISO, all those kinds of things. Really cool design. On this side is the power button, right? And what is this for? Uh, this is switch between the pen and folding mode and also locking mode. You can adjust the parameter of mm -hmm. the camera itself. Yes. Right. And also here is for the joystick to control the directions. And also here, we also have the POV mode. POV mode is like for the Dutch angle, it's like for the 45 degree. Oh, yes. that's so cool. Yeah. So one interesting thing about the Weebill is now it's not covering your uh, display anymore. So they've changed the structure of the design actually. So it's actually at an angle. So over there we have the, the big one, which is called the Crane 3 uh, Lab, correct? Crane 3 Lab. Crane so this what's the difference problem. between the Vivo and the Crane 3 Lab? Uh, basically for the payload is completely different. For this one is for like uh, the cameras and also lens combo is 4.5. 4.5 kgs? 4 kg, yes. Wow. So you can put a cinema camera on there? Like uh, a red yeah, or something? Yeah, yeah, this one is basically for that. This one is for follow focus. Okay. Uh -huh. And uh, this one, we can use this for zooming and zoom out. You have dedicated Zooming, yeah, you see, towards the... That is cool. Zooming and zoom out. Alright guys, so you see they've uh, changed the design of all their cranes now. They have this uh, two-handed approach. Yeah, so you can hold it this way. It's a lot better balanced for weight. So even, this do even though this load is pretty heavy with the camera and the gimbal, it's quite easy to hold like this. I think I'd be pretty comfortable holding this for a while.
All right, guys, so that was your first look at the Shiyun. Still not sure if I'm getting that right, but the new Crane 3 Lab and the new Weeble Lab coming from these guys. They're doing some amazing stuff. Definitely looking at what people want in these devices and making lots of good changes. Uh, I am definitely tempted to sell my V2 and buy uh, Lab 3. I think that would be the perfect gimbal for me. Uh, let's see, I'm talking to these guys to see if I can get a review unit to do a video in the future. By the way guys, I found out that they are planning to price the V-Bill at about $600, which is below what the Crane 2 is selling for right now. I think that's amazing value for money, especially for what you get. Uh, they haven't announced the price of the Crane 3 yet. They said all pricing is probably going to be released in the next two or three days and the device should be available by the end of the month. So anyway guys, if you like this video, hit that like button, leave me a comment, subscribe to watch more videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Very, very interesting stuff that... Uh, Jai... Jai... Juin. <laughs> very interesting things that Juin yes. are doing. I got it right? Yes. Okay, awesome. Man, but it's a really cool product. I'm really liking it. It's very different from any other gimbal in the market.